Hello Ragnarok fans! In this video, I am going to share some tips how I earn my crystals. As you can see, my weekly total sales is already approaching the low tax quota of 500,000 crystals. The first thing that you need to take note is that you will get taxed with 10% of your total sales amounting to 500,000 crystals weekly. Beyond 500,000 up to 1M, you will get taxed 20%. For VIP members, however, they will get taxed 10% for total sales up to 1M crystals. Therefore, it would be wise for non-VIP members to limit their weekly sales to 500k. Sell the next batch of items on the next weekly reset. In this video, I will not be recommending to sell your mining and fishing and gardening loots to sell. Because, in my own opinion, they are very important for faster progression. But however, if you need some emergency crystals, then you can always sell them. Whatever supports your goal, short term, mid term, and long term. The most basic way of earning crystals in this game is to sell the items that you get on the daily instance but in case they don't sell for three days i usually dismantle them and sell this token instead these tokens are being sold because they are being used to gamble for level 30 and 40 blue equipments and because I don't intend to craft blue equipments for now, as well as buying the purple equipment, that's why I'm also selling instance drops that are related into crafting blue items, as well as the Valkyrie coin that is used to craft the purple equipment. So, always ask yourself, do you need that item? If not, then better sell it for now, then you can always buy back later on. If ever you get some duplicate cards and duplicate headgears in the future, you can always dismantle them and sell their coins. Another way is to participate on the MVP and Mini to get their coin. You can either join a party or you can create your own party or you can even solo. And for as long as you are standing or alive when the MVP or the Mini is dead, you will get the participation reward you can get participation bonus three times for mvp and three times for mini every day you can get more coins of course if you have a strong party because of the damage ranking bonus and the rare bonus if you can see the mvp and the mini coin is selling right now at around 1,800 crystals. Therefore, if you do the math, if you participate 3 times on MVP and 3 times on Mini, you will get 10,000 crystals every day. And as usual, these coins are used to do some gacha draw on the vending machines. I'll be
Another way is to do some basic gardening on plants that consumes one stamina only. This plant, which is being used as an enchantment material recipe, consumes 20 stamina. And right now, it's selling around 900 plus. And for this one, if I try to harvest a cactus, it will only consume one stamina. And one cactus is equivalent to 104. So technically, 20 pieces of cactus worth of 104 is equivalent to 2,000 crystals. Better than 883 of this tough vine. These items mostly are used in guild orders. You can also check on the popular item tab which items are currently in demand and which items are increasing in value. And lastly, of course, if you are very lucky enough to get one of these rare equipments, rare costumes, rare card, basic equipments, costumes, and cards, you can always sell them if ever you don't need them. And that's it, guys. Thank you and bye-bye.